Hello friends, welcome to EPG Partshala. I am Dr. Jayadeep Shorangi, Jogesh Chandra Choudhury College, University of Calcutta, Kolkata. Friends, we are into module 15, where we are to look in the contribution of William Langland. And this module is prepared by Dr. Kalyani Dikshit, who teaches English in a college in Lucknow. Friends, in this particular module, we are going to look at how Langland was placed in literature during his own time. We are to assess the contribution of William Langland at different forms and propositions in the context of his time in the history of English literature. We are also to note down what way he made contribution and which text really keeps us getting attracted to the literary discourses of the time. So, on the whole, we are to assess the position of William Langland and his contributions in the literary context and the historical point of view. Friends, William Langland or Langley was famous was a famous poet of the 14th century England, but the critics are not sure about the date of his birth and date. As per Leguiz and Kajamian, two very important critics of the time, critics of our generation working on the time, in Sophus about 1330 is six years after Wycliffe and 10 years before Chaucer. We get very little information about William Langland's life and his appearance from his own works. He hailed from former farmer class, the lower strata of life. Malvern and London were two most important cities for his life, where he studied and worked. Critics believe that probably he was a scholar and curious learner, but not a steady student. To quote, the were left to learn, but loth for to study, unquote. In his works, he depicted himself as a student of French, Latin and classics. He lived the life of a seer a prophet after Isha's own heart. If we may judge by the prophecy, we soon find Pius Flaumann, William Long, page 81. In his poems, he portrayed himself as a tall, gaunt figure dressed in long black gown with large folds, striding along the strand or chip side with so strange and absent an ear that people say he is mad. We are quoting Mark John, page 16 and 17. William Langland, according to the critics, the name of wife was Catherine and his daughter's name was Nicolette. Encyclopedia of World Biography 2004 defines William Langland in the following words. The English poet William Langland, birth 1330, death 1400, is known as pro the probable author of Pyre's Plowman. It is an allegorical poem and a seminal text during the Middle English period which attacks abuses in the government and the church and the, ad, uh, deplores the misery of a people without true leadership, except for information that may be gleaned from the poem of Powers Powerman, nothing is about William Langland's life. Now, friends, William Langland and his works. William Langland represented himself as a beggar wandering from door to door and earning some money by singing a plebeo or a dirge for those who provided him money as alms. 
he was also well aware of law courts and legal terminology. Now friends, the works of William Langland. William Langland is remembered today for his works like Pierre's Plowman and its sequel Vita de Dawel, Dobet et Dobest, Scondamwit et Rossum. The whole work is popularly known as Pierre's the Plowman. It is believed that a year before his death, he composed his last poem, Richard the Redless. Friends, about Piers the Plowman. Piers the Plowman is the most representative Middle English alliterative poem that has survived over centuries. This poem is found in three different forms. Number 1, text A, which was probably written in the years 1362 AD. Text B, possibly written in the year 1377 AD. Text C, possibly written in the year 1398 AD. Now, A text, please look at the screen. A text or Bharnon, poem of 1800 lines slightly immature, work of writer's youth, contains twelve pauses or cantos, 2567 lines. Now come to text B as you already see it on the screen or Crowley, the best of the three, work of poets, maturity, contains 20 pauses or cantos, 7242 lines. Now, for B text of the poem lacks the lively scenes, which were the sources of attraction in the A text. The poem often reminds us of mystery and morality plays of the age. In the words of Liguiz and Kijamian, pauses that is, 21 in the third text is a dramatic narrative of the mysteries of passion and the resurrection, which gives much space to dialogue, a play with magnified stage directions. Friends, now again look up on the board and see C text, text C or Whitaker, that is. 15,000 lines, somewhat prolix, work of writer's old age, contains 23 pauses or cantos, 7,357 lines. Now, friends, look at the comments made in the Encyclopedia Britannica. As per the Encyclopedia Britannica 14th edition, the A text dating from 1362 AD contains a prologue and 12 pauses or cantos 1 to 4, the vision of the Lady Mead 5 to 8, the vision of Pius the Plowman 9 and 10, 11 and 12, the vision of Do Well, Do Best and Do Best 2567 lines and B text C. 1377 edition is much longer containing 7242 lines with additional pauses following after 11 of a the earlier pauses being altered in various respects the c text with 7357 lines is a version of b all are displayed on the board now, friends, come to the C text and let us see what is there on the screen. Divided into 23 pauses. The Vichy de Petro Plowman. Number 2, Vision de Duel. Number 3, Vision de Dubet. Number 4, Vision de Dubest. So, Dubet is do better 
in the language of today. I hope this particular diagram will help you to understand the text well. Then now, after the textual material, let us talk about the language of Langland. Pyre's Plowman is the most notable alliterative poem of the age. He probably wrote in this old English verse because it suited his political and moral purpose. The old verse was close to the soil of England and a fitting vehicle for this narration and nationalism was primitive in virtues. But the virtues he approached were those of the feudal Europe, not of Saxon England. We quote it from Ranwick, page 15. Now, friends, the influence of French and Latin on Langland. All big writers like Langland and Chaucer were using language packed with French words because you know this was the age of the Normans. There were nearly 600 different tags or quotations in French and Latin in the three versions of Langland's Pius Plowman. French is also an essential part of the meaning in the book. Now, please enjoy the quotations from Pius and Plowman in Latin. Let me just read out a couple for your benefit. The first one, some rex, some princes, neutrium, fortis, disimpis, like to the pause 9, intuler, consume it. I think you will take your time to read it and understand it. Now, the dialect of Langland. He writes in a dialect which is a mixture of East Midland, Midland and of South. He uses ETH, which is a sign of plural in the South, whereas EN is the sign of plural in the East Midland. J. M. D. Max John quotes that Langland makes his genitive singular end as in ES. This plural adjectives end in E, the comparative of high is there and the superlative hexit, both C and HEO are used for the feminine pronoun. The contractions NAM, NAM, NELI, NELI are used as in Chaucer, page 18. Friends, the composition of dialect and language. Some infinitives like IE or YE are common in West Midland and Southern dialects. Example, Tilly, Stecky, Shawnee. Longmen often used a singular verb like as with a plural noun. Now, friends, the alliterative meter. Pyre's plowman is composed in alliterative meter. The lines of Powers Plowman are strongly accented and are composed in alliterative lines. There are at least three alliterative letters in the alliterative verse. These alliterative letters are called rhyme letters. There must be two rhyme letters in the first half, one on the second half. The first two rhyme letters are called sub, S U B, sub letters, and the last one is called chip later. The accent must strike alliterative syllables and there must be at least three accented words as Milk John points out in the book page 18. To conclude, we must understand the man Langland and his work Pius Plowman and its contribution to the age. According to W. John, w. J. Long, its tremendous appeal to ju justice and common honesty, its clarion call to every man, whether king, priest, noble and laborer, to do his Christian duty, takes from its any trace of prejudice or bigotry, 
with which such works usually abound. So, you can easily understand how the critics have assessed Langland as a contributor to the literary tradition of his own time. I hope you enjoyed this particular module very much. Thank you. In a summer season, corn softer was the sun, he shot me into a shroud, as he a sheep were, in a bitter, as an ermite, unholy of workers, went a iluida in this world, wondrous to hear, popped up in a maya small ring, on marvena hulls, mi betele pele, a farilla me thokta. He was weary for wandering and went a mare to rest, under a broad bunker be a barn in a cedar. And as he lay and lay on Ada and looked at on the waters, he slumbered in a sleeping, he swayed so Maria. Then a gone he met in a mebel swathen, but he was in a wilderness, a wooster in a bell, where and as he beheld, unto the east on her toward the sun, he saw a terror on a tofta trilica in market, a delpe darle beneatha, a dungon berlina, with delpe dicha and delke in dread full of sechta, a fair pale the full of folk found in the world between, of all the manner of men, the men and the richer, watchinga and wanderinga, as the world asketh. So ma put the name to the plough, fled in purl seldena, in satinga and in salwinga swunk and purl harda, and one in the thalus was sterilous with flow, donia, distraven, and so ma put the name to priera, apple reladen, and the laughter. In continents of clothing, a comb and the scale said, To prayerless and to penance, a put in hemonia. But love of our Lord, let the dame full strike in offer for to have a heaven, a rich, a bliss, an uncress, and a meatus that hold in hand to hell a careless. Covet a note in contrary to carrying a bota. For non le careless lift lord a hell a li come to place and so much also in chapere to chair in the betra, as it same at the earless yachta that such a man breatheth, and so ma merthless to makin as monstrous kona, and get the gold with their glee, gitless he traga, but the chapelles and jangeleres. Jordan's children, found in him fantasias and full the same madin, and abit wheat a hell a wheel to watch in yetha, him lost, that poor la preacheth of him, he darly not preoven, hell, quill o quitar, to be quillian, he is the facilis hina, be dells and be girls fast el buta yodan, did hell the bargus and her hell the balias well and grateful he commit. Benedin him for her for a fochter of the Allah. In Glotinia, God wot go on her to the other. And rest of the Rabandia, this Robertus Knavus, slip and slough that sold with a medera. Pilgrimers and palmers plucked in him to get heirs. But to search Sant Jama and Santus at Roma, went and forth in hell, why with morning with the darlis, and head and lever to leave in all the hell a leaf of hell. And met us on an hill with a game to starve us, went into Bolsingham and hell reaches at hell. Great and lord, we are so longer with lord, the world, to swanker, 
clothedihi to corpus to be all canawin for brethren and so my shop in hand to the matches hell is a to have a he found the prayers or the fell or dress preaching the people for profit of all wombs blessing the gospel as in good liquor for covetous of corpus constrained the deal for money of this maestress narrowing clothed in him at the king for money and hell much on the uh, met and put together uh, set the uh, charity you uh, have the jump moon on chair to strive and lardus mon a fairless and be fairly in a fairly yellous put full a church and hill the hold a bit to get there uh, the most a mister for a molder is monting a ukarsta Tele prechede er patanel, as e a praised a wada, and brought to forth a bull with the shop the sailors, and said that himself a milkta soiled in him all, for falseness and fasting, and of barley he broken. The lower men let bear him well, and let care his feature, and come and up canaling to kissing. His bulla, he punched a hymn with his bridled whip and blurred hair. I even am rocked with his ragamon, rangus and watches. Thus ye give a good platonist to help him, and leave it to losers that literally haunt him, where the bishop he blakes it and worth both his heirs. His Sell should not be sent to the save at the people. It is not only to be the bishop that the buyer preacheth, but to the parish priest and the paterna part of the silver, that the parlor people of the parish should have it, the tell in a while. Personas and parish priest is plain at the hell of bishops, the tell of parish have. Then Parla said the Pestilain Satima to have a listing and leave at London to dwell to sing her there for Simonia, the Selva, a Sweta, the Hover, and hundred in hoves of Selka, Sejones in Semera to Selvin at the Barra, played in Patrains and Pondus the Lola, not for Lova. Of the Lord, who loves it, the real life sonnas, the ramachtes pera mete na mis, una melvena hurlas, dan get in a moon a verre mot fir monea verre shoda, a song the bishop is bowled, and the bachelors of the pena, the coma clackless, the conte the king for to save them, etched the deckness, and then as the dignity, Avena to preach the people and the parliament of Thera, their own rope into London, believe of early bishops, the ban clerks of the king's bench, the country to send, barons and bargeres on bond men of soul, the sovereign assembly, as you shall hear in a tale, parkers, butchers, and grafters monia. While on a web stairless and web fairless of linen, tellers, tannerless and tokerless botha, masons, menorless and money, all the crafters, tickerless and delvers, the ton herle dead as yell, and drill with the earth, the longer die with the wool, savadam in ma, cockers and other cannabis cray and hot the pea sota. Go to gay as a grievous, go with Dean and go away. The Veneris to him told the Samadala with the Queen of Asia and Wien of Gascoigne of the Rena of the Rochelle, the Rosta to the Fia. In all this is all slapping and serve a piece of